Good morning, everybody. Look, it's raining. Well, it's raining here. And just pray that it goes up to Fort McMurray, okay, guys? Because it's not raining there. But you know what? There was a fire on 881, which is half an hour north of Lac La Biche. So I think it's raining there. So hopefully it will help that fire. Hi, everybody. So in light of the fires in Fort McMurray and all the evacuees, well, not all of that. Not all the evacuees, but 9,000 of them being evacuated here to Lac La Biche. We are still going through with our camping trip. Um, it rained here, so my husband thinks that we're pretty safe here and that we're not in any danger. So we're going to go. Excuse me, I just woke up and I still have morning hair. We are going to go. We're going to leave the area and we're going to let Lac La Biche and the people in Lac La Biche who are helping the evacuees and the evacuees have access to all of the amenities and the shopping and, and all of that kind of stuff because they need it and they are not going anywhere. This is where they're settling until this gets sorted. Whereas we, we can go somewhere else. We can go do our shopping somewhere else. You know, we are a family of five and we do a lot of grocery shopping. And rather than us taking the groceries from, you know, independent foods or Sobeys for us, we're gonna leave those groceries for the families who are taking in evacuees and for the evacuees who are, are shopping themselves because they're camping or whatever it may be. I just watched on the news today that there is only 13 to 1500 people evacuate um, registered at the Bold Center. Uh, but the numbers that they've given us that 9000 are in this area. So they are either camping in the area or they are staying with friends or staying with family in the area. So it's still uh, a large number of people. Fuel trucks fueling up the uh, gas stations. There's one here at Shell. There's one here at Petro Canada. They're making sure that the gas stations are full of fuel for everybody that is trying to get around and get to friends and family's houses and wherever it is that they have to go. the evacuation center for Lac La Biche. This is where the people are staying. People are camping out in their campers. Those lucky enough to be able to bring them. TV stations. TV stations and uh, I think there's some barbecues going on out here for the people that are displaced. What you doing? Can you, make rocks. Are you coloring? Are you coloring the rocks with chalk? Okay. Mama pile. So guys, like I said earlier, we are still planning on going camping um, in the Canmore area slash Banff. Uh, we've been telling the kids that they've been going camping for about a month now, and they wouldn't understand us canceling. Um, when we come back, we will do what we can to help our fellow Albertans. Tamara, if, if you're watching this, and I know that you don't have time to watch YouTube, but uh, my thoughts are with you. My heart is with you. And if you at all need any help, please, please let me know. PM me. Don't be afraid to PM me. I will. We will help come do the cleanup. We will do whatever is necessary. You just let me know what you need, and we will help you as best we can, okay? Um, yeah, I'm just sitting here stitching right now. I haven't been doing much stitching at all in the past couple of days uh, due to being distracted, but when I am stitching it, it is helping distract me. I just can't do it for long periods of time. I feel I need to keep checking on my husband and keep checking on the situation, and 
I feel like I need to know what's going on and uh, I know there's nothing I can do but I just feel like I need to be up to date with what's going on. I'm going to show you what I have been doing in the past three days since this has been going on and uh, yeah. That's... So this here is what I've been doing. This is what I've been getting accomplished over the past five day five days well four days if you don't count today and uh, and then also just this here uh, I hope to get this finished today for Rachel and uh, I will send it off when I get home to the next person uh, but yeah that's all I've been doing guys I've only been able to stitch every every so often to keep my mind off of it Hi guys, in case you guys aren't wondering why I'm not down at the Bold Center in Lac La Biche, it's because I find the situation extremely emotional and extremely overwhelming. Um, I, I cry just reading Facebook and reading in the groups of the Fort Mac support group of all the uh, stories that go on. And I don't really think that the evacuees need me as a volunteer crying over their situation. Like, I'm not even in their situation and I'm supposed to be helping them. They don't need the volunteers to be a blubbering mess when they're trying to get registered and they're trying to get settled. And they're trying to figure out what the hell they're supposed to do. I, uh, I just don't think that I'm emotionally able to do that. To be on the front lines of, of that. What I'm hoping to do is once, praying to God that it rains, that once all the ashes are settled, that I will be able to go and help my friends who are up there. My family who is up there and be able to go help with the cleanup and hopefully by then I could, I could go yes we can do this together and we can be strong and we can rebuild and I'm totally willing to do that but to help right now knowing that the fire is still going and, and knowing that it's still burning and there's nothing that we can do about it except just wait for it to burn and then there's nothing left to burn so that's why I'm not at the Bold Center and that's why I am going away and also the kids are really looking forward to going away we have been planning this trip for a month now and uh, so that's why we're going and that's why I'm not at the Bold Center uh, I wish I was strong enough to, you know, I, I might seem like a strong person, but when it comes to things like this, and it being in the moment and knowing that people are lost, you know, they lost everything. I, too, am a blubbering mess. I just don't think people need that from me as a volunteer. They need me to be strong, and they need me to help stand them up. They don't need to be standing me up. Do you get what I mean? I hope so. 11. So guys, it's about 11.30 here and I'm about to head to bed. We are going to the mountains tomorrow. We're going to get away and uh, try and enjoy ourselves. Uh, what's going to happen is I'm not going to be vlogging over the weekend because in the mountains you have limited internet. You might not have internet <laughs> and it's slow internet if you do have it. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be bringing my camera, this camera right here, and I'm going to be taking footage of campsites and the mountains and the glaciers and wherever it is that we happen to be going and come Monday I will start loading them and so probably depending on how much footage I have for from Monday to Thursday will probably be all coverage of the trip I just 
depends on how much coverage that is and then on Friday I will have a a catch-up video of what happened from Monday to Thursday during my week um, so that's what's gonna happen I'm gonna I'm not gonna be uploading anything until Monday this will be the last vlog till Monday but I do hope that when I come back that you will enjoy uh, the coverage that I take for you in um, Canmore and uh, Banff and wherever else we may go. We may go into Jasper. We're not sure yet. Uh, but I do hope you enjoy it. I do hope that you all are taking care of yourselves and are having a wonderful stitchy day. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to turn you around. I did finish the um, Once Upon a Time sampler, my piece part in it. So I'm going to turn you around and show you that before I go. But I'm going to say goodnight right here. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your love and your kindness in this time of need in Northern Alberta. You don't know how much I appreciate it. And uh, I feel your love all over the world. And I love you in return. So I'll see you guys on Monday. You all take care now, okay?